Hey, yo, folks, Quillington here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. I I don't know, I've been having so much fun with this run. It's actually my second day of recording this. None of the episodes have gone online yet um, because I've got other things on the channel that are going on, but I can't I can't not be playing RimWorld right now. So, hey, it's great. We're going to have a huge bulk of episodes ready to go at some point, and that makes me very happy. We've got Hope, the leader of our little community here, the uh, Xeno archaeologist looking for the Arquinexus. We have recruited Madeline and Javier, although Javier still has to be converted over to our ideologian. So it is. I usually just say ideology because it's a lot easier. And we got a couple more prisoners. We've got the Fawns and we've got Mathis waiting to be recruited. I am kind of eager to get up a proper wall here, which is not going to go too quickly since we're still doing tons of other construction. I'm a little bit worried about like a real hardcore raid coming our way and ruining our day. But uh, maybe Randy will keep giving us some time. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and unpause. Ritual opportunity soon is for a different ideology because we've got nothing on schedule. And Hope is doing planting. Yeah, and we do need the planting to be going on. Lotus taken away from Hope's construction time, but this is pretty useful. Oh yes, we still have the psychic suppression going on and absolutely obliterating the consciousness of Hope and I guess Madeline as well. Mathis, Crisis of Belief. He keeps swapping religions over and over. Actually, it may have been both him and the Fawns doing it, which is a little annoying because if they were close to having a conversion to us, which I don't think is the case, because it does, but it does reset their, um, their belief system back to 50% over here. As long as they don't roll into an ideology that makes them hard to convert, because that would be very annoying. But otherwise, yeah, having chats, dropping the resistance. Okay, a full point there is not too shabby. A little snooze over here. We're going to try to get you your uh, fancy bedroom back again there, Hope. In particular, this is her bedroom, and then also getting these preparated. We do have one um, couple that are in a relationship. Although we don't have to think about them wanting to sleep together. Maybe it's fine because they're in the barracks. Or our ideology might not support free love. Because I don't think I messed with those values. And that the default may have been that uh, only married loving is okay. Life is Celebration is available, but we're going to ignore it. Yeah, see, they're eating all these survival meals. I could have gone and banned them again, but... Well, now they're going to have no choice but to go for nutrient paste meals, even though it's going to upset them. We're going to be carving lots of rock. We've got plenty of construction to do. Hope's going to go back and try to do a little bit of planting and then run right back over this way. Okay, she's legit hungry. See, timing wise, you could have just eaten while you were there. I don't like having my farm so far away from the house. I mean, it's not that far, but this still represents some amount of walking time. So again, she's walking out here. She's going to cut grass. And I mean, I guess what I could do is I could force her to keep planting while she's here. Just shift cues from jobs or something like that. Like if she's going to start walking away, yeah, she's going to walk away to her recruit. I'm going to get her to keep sewing the area a little bit more because she's here right now. Okay, I won't do any more than this because, um, of course, you, these things are on a cooldown. want to use them as often as possible. Oh, they're asleep, so maybe no interaction. We may have missed a window of interaction, which might not have been the greatest. I don't know. Javier is continuing to be chatted to. He might, you know, be proselytized in a natural way. Maddie's got a mood break coming up. Oh, she is depressive. He still have any clothes. Um, maybe I should get Hope to finish this tailoring bench. Now, we don't have... Yeah, we don't have anyone who's actually good at these. Maddie's got a three. She could probably put some pants together. I don't think either one of the people waiting over here are crafter. It's actually going to be a... It's going to be a definite um, weak point in our little base here. You're cutting tall grass. Oh, you're out of steel and wood. Okay, we do have a couple of things designated for be mined. I guess I may as well go and mark some stuff here to be chopped down. Although we need the steel as well before we do anything with it. We don't have anyone with mining passion yet, right? No. Okay, point nine. That's not bad despite being low mood, low opinion. A decent amount of resistance break. And Hope's social skill is getting great. Did we start at like an 8 or 9? I feel like something like that. So it's it's going up very quickly. I mean, she's basically doing social stuff nonstop. We've got a psychic soothe. And the drone has gone away? Or the psychic suppression? Okay, that's really good news. Javier's not terribly pleased. Yeah. At all. 
Well, we're not planning on butchering anyone else in the near future. So hopefully we won't stack another one of those negatives. Life would be a lot easier if we converted. Also these guys. Well, um, one of these is still in the... Supreme Army, which if you're not a pigskin, you hate yourself. So that's great. That's Javier with a huge mood break here. Oh, yeah, you don't like that we're cutting down trees either. Actually, it might be that you cut down trees. Um, Javier, no, you don't plant cut on. So I guess if it's anyone does it. Yeah, well, that's less than perfect. Dude, we really need to convert you. We need a third person in here uh, in our uh, ideology so we can make hope our sadistic rage. I'm gonna go vent on the prisoners. Don't do that, buddy. I could arrest you and then immediately re-release you. I could just try to punch you out. What's your melee? One? I mean, we don't have any great melee either. We just try to punch you out? You got a 100% chance to arrest. Okay, we're gonna do that. Oh, you need another prisoner bed. Okay. We can immediately release you. Now the downside to this, or maybe we wanna leave you in, oh, hell on, we can convert you. Let me cancel this. Well, um, and then release after, because you'll release back to us. So we're going to try to convert you and then release you. This actually might be the best thing. Um, are you still having a mental break? Okay, I was going to say there should be enough enough now knocking you out. Okay. Yeah, and it's just fist attack, so you're fine. Hope, same thing? Yeah. And then fawns. Hopefully those were older injuries, nothing new. I don't know. Uh, we'll unforbid the bow. Okay, this actually, this might be really good. Now, by being arrested, you didn't get the, um, oh, what's it called? Catharsis. You don't get the catharsis, which gives you a mood boost after a break. Because it was interrupted. But I think that might have to be okay. Alright, you're being treated now. We might still need to go and harvest some more herbal meds. Yeah, and at some point we'll uh, farm it, but... We can, we can get so much of it quite easily on the surface. I actually think we should do that again. Okay, let's find one. I'm going to select all of them on the map. Harvest fully grown. We'll let them run this for a while, and then we'll just select all and cancel again. Uh, we're so... Okay, all right, hope... Recovering from the injury a little bit. I mean, you could probably get out of bed, but... Okay, you're out of bed now. Good. Let's say. This doesn't seem too severe. Maddie, a little relax. Oh, it is our recreation schedule time. It'd be nice if they spent time together. I suppose if I go and build the chess table, there's more of a chance people will interact with one another, which would be nice. Okay, resistance down to a 4.3. Not the best change. It is kind of an ugly room right now, so that might be really bringing down some of the mood. And here's a conversion attempt. Not the biggest certainty drop. Hang on. Can you not clean this area? Yeah. There we are. Thank you. Much appreciated there, Hope. Feed you. And snoozle times. Okay. The Fonz is fully healed. We're harvesting some rice. Okay, numbers are still looking okay. This hopper is still empty because this is the one that we have set to be meat and which should get pulled in first. We might, we might throw in some, but we don't need to. I was going to say, we could throw in some hunting jobs to fill that out. We don't really need that. On the other hand, mostly might be about the leather, which might be some value. And it could give Hope an opportunity to practice her shooting as well if she was going around hunting. Tell you what, I'll make sure to set her on a hunting duty. And then if I, <laughs> duty. And then if I flag any animals to be hunted, she can go ahead and just take care of that for us. All right, come on. 3.3, okay. And then we still have to convert them. So be it. 
He walked all the way out here to plant one thing and then come back over here to feed some people, which is going to be the other nice thing. If we do get a prison cell over here in the future with a nutrient paste dispenser so the prisoners can feed themselves, it's going to save a good amount of time and effort. Up that down, that might have even been in the way of this. That's ah, not in the way of that. Maddie doing a little bit of research. I don't remember. Do you have you do have the passion. It's nice for you to find some time doing that. We've got some psychoid leaves going. But we do want to get the brewing, which will mean we're going to have to set up a little cooking table, but that's not going to represent too much time. We're getting raided by a couple of people. Okay, with melee weapons. Um, I missed the message. Are they? Yeah, they are preparing for a little bit. Okay, so we got some time. And yeah, we'll just have to lead them into this spot. I might go after my chickens, but I think they'll be drawn to attacking us. Maybe. Put a hold open on this to make it a little easier for us to run in and out. Because I might want to meet them just out here, just to make sure we've got a firing angle, nothing else. Okay, more chatter. Okay, they're beginning their assault. Um, oh, Maddie, go ahead and grab the short bow. Okay, now. Come out here. Where are the attackers? Right over there, okay. And then, oh, I want to turn off the hold open. So we can run through there after. We don't need to worry about cover. Nice! I mean, the pulse rifle is a pretty strong weapon. Um, taking a risk here. Come on. Oh, Maddie's not going to get through in time. Oops. Keep cutting backwards. Wow, way to miss. Kite, kite, kite. Kite, kite, kite. Oh, I didn't toggle off the hold open. Or, oh, I did already before, I forgot. Oh, you're gonna just go into steel mode? Okay. That's fine, we'll just keep shooting you. Aha, now you're stuck inside. And you're downed. Death in five hours, no permanent injuries. Kind sanguine, fast walker. With a passion for crafting and construction, which would make you a great production person. Uh, yeah, okay. Let me copy that. He doesn't need this one for a medical bed. I don't think we have to patch you up in place. I think we can capture you. We have five hours, and then we'll just treat you in the bed, possibly with medicine. Um, speaking of, let's actually turn Hope's medicining back on here. So we're not going to teach treat you with medicine right now. That's okay. I mean, we do have our pharmacist rules here not to use anything. We might. No, this is fine. It's interesting. That I guess this is considered minor injuries or it's not considering us to have herbal medicine. That might be part of the issue. We'll see if you get an infection and that might change some things. We'll uh, allow this weapon over here. That's going to be fine. And then where are you going there? Hope cloud watching. All right. Maddie is going to feed a meal to Smogger. Okie dokie. And going to get yourself some rest, that's fine. Hope has the cloud watching. It's your sleep schedule. Let me just reset you there. Get back on schedule. Have a snooze now. I know your recreation is not quite full, but actually it should be enough for... Yeah, recreation fully satisfied. Opinion, my lover, Javier, which we did have to arrest temporarily. But it's, you know, it's for his own good. Plus he's going to do, like, mean things to prisoners here, so... And he'll be in such a better mood once he gets converted. Oh, resistance drop. And yeah, actually, if you, yeah, the second you convert Javier, we get a third person of our believer. Um, we might at that point decide to accelerate the con the uh, construction of our temple. Actually, forbid these again. Uh, dry thunderstorm. Oh no, we're gonna get more fire. Hopefully, it'll be followed by actual rain, because that's not great. Javier is going on a sadistic rage. An event on the prisoners. Again. 
Um, there we go. I wasn't sure if I was selecting Mathis there or not. All right. Recapture him. He got catharsis this time, though. That's interesting. So if someone's having a fit and you arrest them, they don't get it. But if they have it as a prisoner already, then they do get it, even if you knock them out, which is, I think, fairly normal. A little more treatment. I mean, it's letting us practice our medicine, but we don't have passion for it, so it's not going to go that quickly. Javier has been converted. Lovely. So the next social interaction with Javi here should, yeah, should just be a release. Can I make that happen now? Prioritize releasing. There we go. Okay, so Javi's back. Um, he still has these debuffs from his old ideology, but that will fade away. He's still got his catharsis right now, which is great. Okay. Did it reset anything over here? Nope, we're still good. And it should mean that if I get any ritual spot whatsoever, let me just, um, let me just throw it down over here just to say hope I have two I have three inactive requires at least three arco technus I clearly have three does it take a while to trigger let it run through the day otherwise maybe I'll do a save and reload Maybe got a little confused with the conversions and the order of things. Okay, let's take a look now. What the heck, man? Okay. Let's quick save, quick load. Am I getting something wrong? I don't think so. There we go. Now we actually have the complaint about the converter role unfulfilled. Perfect. Hope with all your social skills. Buggin. And then we can start dropping these cooldowns while we're also trying to do. I'm going to go berserk now and attack someone random. Um, I'm worried that interrupting this might put something on a cooldown. Okay. Good. Done. Recruit, go and punch out Mathis. Um, go. Melee attack. Melee attack. All right. Well, that's done again. Uh, doctoring. Everyone's got self tend on and everything. Okay. Man, we've had some very cranky prisoners here. They also have to go and get. Taken care of ASAP. Oh, I guess because Hope is self-tending and she's our warden. Lacks some social sleep. Okay, let's recapture. 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 And I'm assuming none of them are like bleeding to death or anything. No, they're all fine. Okay. We'll let you do your recreation. Actually, I kind of want to use the convert action immediately. Uh, Smogger's not sleeping, so the other two are sleeping. We can't use the power on that. All the way down to zero, and you have converted. I'm sorry, 76% swing? Well, you're kind, which increases your, yeah, certainty loss factor by two. Well, that was easy. Okay, a little bit of medical work. That's going to be fine. Oh, I'm really feeling like we're about to hit a turnaround in the productivity of our base here because, because being able to do the convert power is accelerating this so much more. Our numbers are going to swell. We do actually have a constructor if we get smogger here. Or a crafter, I should say. I mean, he'll still need to get trained up, but that's fine. He's going to spend his entire life doing things that increase his crafting skill, most likely. It'd be nice if he had double passion, but one passion is fine. Again, no passion, you learn at a third the normal rate. Regular passion, you, normal, you learn at the normal rate. Double passion just means 50% boost, which is meaningful, but not the greatest like deal breaker it's that first pip that's important i think the second passion also makes it so that you're quite a lot happier while you're working on the thing fawns has got a crisis of belief brought bring his red his belief down to 10 percent. that's actually really good i think i keep saying he and apparently it's a she my bad the fawns um 
So that's going to make that easier to finish off. It's actually great that, that she didn't have an actual full break because then she would just reset to a random religion at 50%. This is actually the ideal outcome. Yeah, we'll have to wait for the cooldown to come up, of course, but it's, this is still making our life so much easier. If people could stop going, you know, berserk and trying to kill the prisoners and everything right now, that would be rather lovely. And yeah, as much as I want Hope to be doing construction and things like that, the most valuable thing she could be doing right now is probably working to convert these prisoners. Go in there to heal the bruise. That's fine. Well, it's actually your sleep schedule, so that's okay. Go back up, doing some more work. Smogger, who actually yeah, has no resistance and has already been converted. Maddie is on a food binge. You know what? That's fine. I mean, unless you're going to eat raw rice and make yourself sick, that would be less than ideal. Yeah, just eat the nutrient paste meals. It's fine. As I said, we do need some more food, but I did plant this extra area for some more food, which is good. Because, yeah, I don't think we're really moving ahead over here. We can always do some emergency um, hunting, should the need arise. Come on. Well, it's not going to be this talk, but Smogger... Wait. Oh, was I getting confused about the numbers? Maybe Smogger's got a long way to go. Yeah. Yeah. I think the overlays were getting in each other's way. Okay. That's too bad. Since you're already converted, but... Ba, ba, ba. Okay, we are getting another nice harvest over here. Not the biggest yields, but it's all right. Oh, um, we need to uh, all urgently. Okay, good. We're going to prep some more graves here. Uh, we don't need to haul urgently on the knife. Yeah, just get you buried, though, for sure. Okay. Maddie's still eating. Harvesting rice plants over here and then running all the way back there. Yeah, see this? I mean, maybe the biphasic is actually causing some of the issues here with the moving away. Let's go to a normal um, single cycle sleep schedule for, you know what, for all of them right now. We can keep their recreation cycle synced synced up so that hopefully they can make friends. But yeah, it might be causing um, us to not be as efficient over here on the work. It has been very good for the mood. There you go, resistance broken. So now we're going to try to start converting you, which actually a normal conversation will probably do it. Okay, there you go. No longer picking out. That's good. Someone's passing by. We're not going to kidnap anyone at this time. More harvest. That's going to be nice. How's the cotton coming? It's coming. And then we do have the psychoid, which will have to be hauled in at some point, but that's okay. We have all these extra random skulls. Yeah, just walk on through. Oh, yeah, walk on through the prison. It's fine. The prisoner are going to be like, wait, you can just open these doors? They've never been locked? What are you talking about? That's crazy. Attempt to recruit, and then you're going to have to eat some food desperately. Okay, yeah, the mood's getting pretty low there, too. So we our numbers should hopefully grow fairly soon. Oh, are we harvesting the ambrosia? Nice. Okay. And that stuff's gonna have to get hauled in too, but let's see. So Maddie, okay, so Maddie should be spending most of her time researching. Although she does help out with the growing, despite not having the passion for it. I do think that is a good idea. I don't remember if one of these guys has a plant passion. Yeah, Mathis, which is actually gonna be very helpful. Because we'll take Maddie off the job for sure. In fact, it might be time to do that now. Let's do that. Might put us a little bit behind on the plants. I'm not sure Hope can spend enough time doing it, but we're getting ready to convert or to recruit soon. Actually, you do have to be converted. So next time Hope's power comes up, it'll definitely get used on Mathis. But yeah, this gets us our research going again, and I'm happy about that. Need warm clothes. I know... But we don't have our crafter recruited yet anyway, so even if I did have the tailoring bench... Um, I mean, we could put down a little crafting spot and just... I don't know if tribal wear would be any warmer. Maybe there's not much we could do. Maybe we could crafting spot some random hats, which would help a little with temperature control. But yeah, not that much. So yeah, Smogger still got a ways to go. Oh, conversion. There we go. Okay. So you've been converted, and I think you are broken your resistance. Yeah. So the next shack with the fawns will recruit the fawns. Get another bed ready. I guess I may as well because we're gonna need beds for the bedrooms anyway. 
I might encourage you to work on that, actually. I know you're sowing the uh, plants, but let's get the bed ready ahead of time, please. Thanks. It's quality on this one. Oh, good. Because we've got a poor bed there. We could deconstruct this and build a new one. Maybe I won't worry about it for now, just because we are a little time sensitive. I could move Hope. You know what? Hope, you're going to go and take the good bed here. You deserve it. Although Mathis, or sorry, Fawns is going to have the uh, genetic pessimism from being the impoid, so you might need a little something extra to keep your mood up. We got a depressive person. We're going to have an imp. These things do make things slightly more difficult, but oh well. There you go. Recruiting the Fawns should just work. Maybe? There it goes. Beautiful. So let's, uh, well, first let's do the schedule. Next for work here. Basic go up. You do, okay, you're not very skilled at it, but you do have some social passion. I wonder if we turn the wardening on for you. It will definitely slow a lot of the process down, but it might be good to start skilling someone else up. Maybe we won't worry about it right now. All oh, right, and you just have to research passion. Which I guess we do this. Okay, you know what? We will turn on wardening for you. So you can go and reduce Hope's workload a little bit. Even though it will potentially slow down the recruiting just because you're not quite as good at it, but I think we could use it. Oh, we're going to throw a party. You know what? That's okay. We could use a mood boost. I don't mind that too much. Follows the ideology. Oh, a cold snap. Mm, that's a little annoying. Because we don't have the warm clothes, but that's going to have to be okay. Let's do a harvest command so we can harvest early. And I'm going to just put the grow on a number one priority for everyone. And reset them, although they might still be partying. Yeah, they are still partying. All they did is mostly wake someone up so they can join the party, which is, I guess is okay. Okay, it's still 11 right now. It'll freeze overnight. So hopefully this party breaks. I don't know if I can click a button to close the party early. And I might not want to. I want them to have a good mood. Could have done this during the recreation period. Okay, good. They're out. Okay, they're going to need some food. But they should go and do some quick harvesting here. Marriage is on. Javier and Hope. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, we'll really have to get the prisoners moved so we can get this. Yeah, and then we're getting the death because now they're all asleep, too. Um, Hang on. Schedule. There. Everyone get up unless you're actually tired. No, Fawns, get up. Why do you keep going to bed? You're affected by ooh, hyperthermia indoors. It is cold. Um, We need to get those heaters up. which we might not have enough steel for. Yeah. Um, everyone go mine. Real quick. <laughs> oh, the fawns might be in bed because they're injured. Although hyperthermia... It'd be nice if they could get warmer in bed. Let me turn off bed rest and reset you there, buddy. Yeah. I mean, you get these bruises too, but got to get up out of here. As soon as any of this is mined out. I don't know how much steel we're short. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Is that enough? Nope. You're going to have to finish more of this. Everyone's desperate for food and sleep. I mean, it's set to anything, so they can go and deal with themselves, but yeah, they're freezing. Um, shit, maybe I should have just set up a fire in here. As long as we got some wood. Yeah, okay. Good, and then that one. Okay. Let's turn off all the mining. Because I don't want them to be outside. It's still cold in here. This cold snap is worse for us than the plants. Oh my god, look, it's still super cold. Is it minus 15 outdoors? I mean, I know we don't have double walls or anything, but... 
and an eclipse, which is going to make things colder, actually. At least it's above zero indoors. That's something. Um, I'm going to turn the mining back on as a job. Not necessarily a number one or anything, but... People need help. Oh! Okay, your astro wants to learn. You've got paralytic abasia. Must be kept in bed. So we'd just be feeding you. Masterwork recurvable. A couple of advanced components. Actually, we've run out of food. Um, we can't accept this. Yeah, we're going to have to do some hunting. Or butcher all the chickens. So we could start with that. But, because, ooh, hunting might be a very chilly experience. Oh, we've got a convert ready to go. Smoger, you've been converted. Mathis, you have not. Hope I'm going to wake you up and force a convert action right now on Mathis. There we go. That was good. Um, I just butcher all the chickens. Go hunt the buck. I know you're freezing and it's cold out there. So doing this manually is often better because you get close, or at the very least, and then it can go and unselect it. Thing will bleed to death shortly, but I guess keep trying to chase it. You can get some shooting skill. All right. Yeah, bring that back, and then cooking is set to a number one. Actually, I'll set it for both of these because the cooking is just going to be a butchering job, and I just need that to be instant. Mathis, that's really annoying. Price is a belief. So it reset you because you were down to 20% certainty, I think. So now you're back up to 50% something else, presumably. And that is set to butcher. Yep. Okay, so that's going to happen. Okay, no one's suffering from hypothermia, which is good. 17 indoors, 21 indoors. That's good. Okay. You're going to cut down those plants because they're in the way of construction, I guess is fine. We're going to need some extra wood to keep the fires going. Okay, research is about to finish another step. Royal Tribute Collector. Well, we're not going to get involved with that. We'd have to give them prisoners or gold. I mean, we do have prisoners, but we don't care about the opinion from the, the Imperial faction. That's not what we're doing this time. I don't want a royal title or anything like that. Okay, this episode felt it got a little hairy, and it might still be a little bit wonky with the food management, although I think we're okay. And probably what we'll do is I'll just go and send out another hunting attempt and another buck. We might just hunt one thing per day here just to keep a little steady supply of meat. Um, I do, I do think we're, we may have to plant some more plants too. I had originally talked about expanding in this direction, and I just find myself going this way. Which is kind of inherently less de defensible. I should really, really do this. So the plan, before I end the episode, is I will...